I was born at Eastern Piers in the county of Wiltshire on March the 12th. <laughs> St. Gregory's Day. <laughs> Anno Domini 1625. About sun rising, being very weak and so light to die that I was christened before morning prayer. A gentlewoman of my acquaintance had a beloved daughter who had long been ill and received no benefit of her physician. The mother dreamed that if she gave her daughter a drench of you, pounded, she would recover. So she gave her the drench. <laughs> and, uh, and it killed her. <laughs> Whereupon the mother grew quite distracted. Her chambermaid, to humour her and to mitigate her grief, said, Oh, surely that would not kill her. She would adventure to drink the same herself. So, she did. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and it killed her also. <laughs> this about the year 1670. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> 1671. Oh, I knew the family. <laughs> Nowadays, some people fit oh, <laughs> some people fear the physician more than the disease. I would rather take physic of an old woman who had been at sick people's bedsides than from the most learned physician. Arise Evan had a great bulbous nose and he was told by an old woman that the king's hand would cure it. So the next time King Charles came on his usual walk into St James Park, Arise Evans knelt before him and took the king's hand and kissed it and rubbed his nose in it. Which, uh, which cured him, but disturbed the king. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Jonas Moore, sciatica, he cured his by boiling his buttock. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, what, what was, what was I best fitted to do? Truly, nothing, <laughs> only umbrages. At eight, I was a kind of engineer, and then I turned to drawing, and at nine, to colours. Oh, if I were to be good for anything, would have been a painter. 